Hi everyone, so um, coming at you with a crazy look. <laughs> um, it's rather dramatic, I know. Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit special. I was very inspired. I went to IMATS yesterday. It is the 30th of January. It's my birthday. I'm 25. <laughs> so basically I, I, I got four hours sleep. I went... Um, to the Newcastle train station at like, well, I got I got there at like, I don't know, half past four. I uh, got on the train, got to uh, King's Cross at eight o'clock, waited for Michelle and a friend from Belgium, I arrived around half past eight, got to IMATS just past nine, met up with uh, Sarah and um, promptly lost Michelle and her friend. Spent quite a lot of money, not as much as last time. By 11.30 I was exhausted. I was so tired, I was bombed out completely. So we went to the cloakroom, my shoes were killing me, my feet were so hot and it was so uncomfortable. So I took my shoes off and I literally walked around IMATS all day in my Hello Kitty socks. People were like, just like, hey, feet hurt, I gotta be comfortable. So yeah, um, I bought a lot. I want to show you what I bought. Um, but I didn't actually buy that much, but it, it amounts to a lot of money when you think about it. I got some MAC Face and Body um, Foundation, which I really wanted. And there was two things I promised myself I'd buy. It was the MAC body, Face and Body Foundation. And I wanted to have a look at Inglot and I wanted to um, go to Makeup Forever and get a gold eyeshadow, which is the one that I am wearing on my skin now. Okay, yeah, so I got my MAC face and body. Um, and then the other thing I promised myself was Makeup Forever Metal Powder uh, number one, which looks like that. Okay, so I also went to OCC and I got myself a brilliant, brilliant lime glitter. It's gorgeous. It's called Citrus. Yeah. And I also bought um, Stalker Lip Tar. There we go, it's in the shadows there. It's a beautiful red, gorgeous. Stains though, but it's amazing. And they were like, oh, the best thing to hear your glitters is to use eye candy. And I was like, eye candy? And I, then I forgot about it. And then I was like, all right, okay. So then I was decided, oh, you know, I'll have a walk around. So walking around, I we came across eye candy. And they were doing these candy bags. It's like a little kit, a little bag like that. And it comes with that adhesive. And I got um, Cherry Bomb, which is a very, very fine red glitter. And all this was £20, so that was all £20 with a little brush as well. Came with a pink little brush, which is quite cute. This was £9.91, this was £15 something. That together was £14. Um, she also did a demonstration on me at Eye Candy and like gave me some glittery eyeliner, so that was nice. Then we went to Inglot as well. That was definitely one of the ones I wanted to have a look at. My god, it was fucking packed. I'm not kidding you. I was absolutely sweating by the time I handed over my thing. So I got myself some beautiful, beautiful colours. As you can see, I've used it already. Really, really nice little palette that I got myself. I thought I did quite well at my colour selection. The black here, I have got on today. As well as the blue. And this colour, I've also used to blend out the black. I, I kid you not, okay, this is it, look, one, two, three, four, five, that is what everybody else has been doing, and I kid you not, it is like, seriously, so bright, so pigmented, very soft though, I'm not a huge fan of that softness, but it's not a massive problem, you know, like, who cares, I also got myself, I've been looking for these everywhere. Some pro charts. Now I was very happy to find these. The textured paper. Um, they've got a very pretty girl in. 
and the space for you to write everything on the very bottom there. So, um, yeah, I got a couple of crown brushes just for my kit, literally just for my kit. Got an eyebrow brush to comb and then a stiff brush there. I love doing that with them for putting on eyebrows. And then just a little kabuki brush and that was £14. So total I, I did spend quite a lot um, but I'm very happy with my purchases. They're, um, like I said, quite lustful things but some of them are needful as well. Like I didn't need everything but um, I would go around, pick everything up and then be like, right, okay, now seriously, Maxine. <laughs> okay, my favourite thing of all is this. It's amazing. I'm sure a lot of you girls picked it up. It was only £15, which I think is pretty amazing. It's £10 off considering it's such a fat bug. And it's, I haven't seen this in like Waterstones or anything. And the, honestly, the pictures... The inspirational pictures, and <laughs> you're not going to be able to see any of them, are just amazing. They're just stunning. There's even a section there you saw it on like male makeup, so yeah. I was going down for the social aspect, and I think it was a little bit. I missed um, so many people, it was unreal. Like, it was literally just the three of us four of us, sorry, all day. Um, one person did go up to me at the very end of the day, I was literally walking out of IMAX and she was like, hi, can I come over and say hello? I was just like, you did say to like come and say hi, didn't you? And I was like, yeah. Thank God somebody said hi. So it's Nikki, so hi Nikki, thank you for um, coming up to me and saying hi. <laughs> um, Good day, I think as a second timer, I definitely, definitely wasn't as I wasn't as organised as last time, just purely because of the fact that it's like, ah, I've done this before, whatever. You've still got to be organised. So, purse buzz and on call, but like from a distance, well, purse buzz was like right here, she walked past me, she is tiny. Seriously, that woman is minute, she's so small, she's short and she's so petite, but she's still really, really pretty in real life. And on call was a lot taller than I thought. I mean, that's the only people I saw off YouTube, so there's a couple of people as you're walking around, you're like, I recognise you. I I'm sure I've seen you somewhere. And you know, you think, shit, do do I watch your videos? Because I probably do, but I, I I watch so many people's videos I, I never know. <laughs> um, as I keep on saying, I was hugely inspired and I'm grateful for that because it sort of reignited my my flame, my love for for makeup again and it's just made me sort of really inspired, as you can tell. <laughs> So thank you um, to everybody who, uh, you know, commented on the IMATS video and said they were going to make it there. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you guys. Um, hey, maybe maybe next year, right? So we'll see. Who knows? Um, but anyways, I'm going to go. I'm going to stop yakking on. And I love you guys. And I'll see you all later. Good night. Bye.